just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll take it from the two. At the 30. And the kicker comes in to make the tackle. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets out to around the 48. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Taken down at the 40. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. They go to the ground game. And they get nice yardage on that run. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. Clipping. Offense. It's frustrating for a coach when you preach minute. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Grabs it and hammered right there. It's the tailback. Makes it out to about the 43. A gain of eight on the carry. That'll make it third and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. He can run. Tackle at the 40-yard line. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Oh, 
Quick throw, and they'll get him in the backfield. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. And this play is number eight on the drive. Herbie, we saw this guy go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. It's pretty important to this team, and uh, they're going to have to find a way to work through this one without him. And that one's incomplete. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. So we're looking at another third down here. Going for it all to the end zone! You can bend a bit as a defense, but when they're this deep in your own territory, you just can't break. He's looking for six. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And the defense comes through. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And down he goes at the 38. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. made at the 47. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Second and nine, ball on the 46-yard line. Throws it in a hurry, brought down, around the 36-yard line. rid of this one. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Out of bounds at about the 35. That's a deep They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's scrambling, and he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Second and long. Ball on the 15-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. Check 
Texas area 15. a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses to just to dominate the game. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. We played one quarter. This one's scoreless. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. From the 21-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 10. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. They're at the seven. Second down. He had some steam on that throw. Here he goes. They'll bring him down around the two-yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Hilltopper. makes the PAT. So a six-play, 34-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Great play for the offense and a great call by the offense. But the defense has to change things up. They've got to put more pressure on this quarterback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. Fires quickly to the 
tight end. And he's immediately tackled. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws them. Gets to about the 41-yard line. And he throws it away. From the 41-yard line. Second down. Tackle around the 32-yard line. this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. to the tight end. They didn't get it. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Western Kentucky is up seven. They bring him down in the backfield. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 14. To that quickly. He's tackled around the 22 yard line. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 45. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Defense says they've got it, and they do. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Western Kentucky is up a score. Excellent open field tackle. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From the 42-yard line, 
It's first down. That's a great tackle at the 49. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. With a quick throw. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. From the 26-yard line, first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got it, and brought down immediately. Got his receiver, touchdown. Receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That's a big time catch by the receiver. And you know, you look at the defense down there, they're frustrated, and they should be. They did about all they could there. Just the receiver made a great play for the touchdown. We played a half of football. Western Kentucky leads 14-0. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense, that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me, you're not going to throw it deep, and all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tap you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32. The Hilltoppers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Runs outside for a nice game. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. He's got an opening, and he's level at the 37. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Nice run there. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He makes his way out to about the 25. Gaining eight yards. 
first down. Three down, three down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Two-yard loss for the halfback. From the 27-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself from the backfield with five wideouts. Quick throw. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. They're back in the red zone where they have really struggled lately. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Ball State gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Burke, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. So we're just about ready to return to action. Western Kentucky up seven points. Right in the middle, and he meets the defense. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Slings it. Tackle made at the 29. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Mike 19, Mike 19. He's scrambling. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 38. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Lost of four yards on the play. Western Kentucky is up by a touchdown. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. 
the line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gains his way to midfield. Here's the give. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. He gets to about the 27-yard line. First down. Brought down around the 19 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Check, 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 check. My four, my four. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And that sets them up with a first and goal. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Touchdown, Ball State. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. What a collision! Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 28. Makes the grab and steps out right away. to buy some time and he is drilled at the 50 so at the end of three we're deadlocked right now at 14. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action there are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 31. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Fires quick, he catches another. And they make the stop right around the 20.
needed that play, and he dropped it. Now the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that. He took a licking right there. From the 20 yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 19. This is the eighth play of this drive. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Tackle at about the 11. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Western Kentucky ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's hit and got away. Brought down at the 20. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Caught open field, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle made at about the 45. That makes it first and ten. the 48-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Caught, and that's her first down. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. First down. receiver it's the sophomore and he's tackled around the 20 yard line first down 10 yards to go ball on the 20 yard line he makes it to the 18 yard line corner big play there and now they're looking at first and goal he makes it to the six yard line there's a player down I'm not sure what happened that brings up second that brings up a second and goal Ball on the six-yard line. Three down, three down. They come out on an empty backfield. Just throws this one away. It's the 11th play of the drive. This one should be makeable. Just under two to go in the game. It's up, and it is good. You know, I give kickers a lot of grief, but you have to have nerves of steel to make a kick like that. Ball State lines up for the kickoff.
from the eight yard line. Gets to about the 27 yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Setting up blockers or running backs, got it on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 46. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, first down. Here we go. Line, Line, huh? He scrambles. Slides down to the ground. Under a minute left in the game. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, Hilltopper. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Once it all going long. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. And they intercept it. The junior safety. And they make the stop at the 31. So that's going to do it. The Hilltoppers take the win, 24-17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.